Nearly two and a half centuries have passed since a battle for freedom was fought right here in these fields and forests where I'm standing today. A lot has changed since those revolutionary times, but on this very same ground, a new battle for understanding and knowledge is going on now. And this construction site is a front line in our fight for the future. So if you want to understand the new battleground where the Greensboro Science Center is waging a different kind of war, it helps to understand the innate commitment and passion that changed history more than 200 years ago, right here, a few hundred yards behind me. We all know who he is. On this battlefield, he found fame, and our city took its name from him. I wonder what he would say if he could see the work that we're doing today, just a short ride from here. But there was someone else, no less revolutionary, who rode their horse to this battlefield, displaying a different kind of courage. And to really understand this other revolutionary rider, there's something important about the natural world you need to realize. Nature can be brutal. It's a kind of battleground. All the beauty that we see around us has been bought with the blood of countless generations of living things all over the world throughout time. But from within this war of nature has been produced something marvelous and amazing, the ability to love and care for others. And who loves more deeply or cares more completely than a mother? A few days after the fighting, a mother in Maryland got word that her son had been critically injured in it. So she saddled her horse and rode the several hundred miles to be here by his side. And from a small cabin at the edge of the battlefield, she nursed her son back to health. Here, on this former field of valor, Hers is not the grandest monument, but to my mind, it is the most monumental. Look closely. She doesn't hold a sword in her hand, but instead a cup of tea. She waves no flag, but over her arm carries a folded towel. Her only cause in coming here was to help and heal, to take what war had torn apart and to try and make it again. Her name was Karen Happick Norman Turner. And if anyone could come from that time to this and see our battlefield, what we're building at the Greensboro Science Center, I would want it to be her. As a mother, I think that she'd get it. Would you like to see it with me? Nature has made a creature, humans, who can feel kinship with and care for other living things. That's the revolution this ridge is about. Here we'll watch pygmy hippos wade in water and bask in mud, much as they would in West Africa, and learn ways to preserve their vanishing way of life. Guests can glimpse okapis, looking like short giraffes with zebra racing stripes, their camouflage for survival in their one home on Earth, the Congo. Without time travel or flights to New Guinea, meet bipedal dinosaurs worth preserving by looking in the eyes of our cassowaries. There are some faces only a mother could love. The face of a red panda is not one of those. Seeing them here, you want to help save them in the wild. It may not house tigers, but our small cat complex shows how big an impression small species can make when we take time to get to know them. Few birds are adapted to so many environments as flamingos. They are feathered flexibility the color of flame. And the Shearer Animal Health Center and Tannenbaum Conservation Labs will connect our individual animal care locally with species conservation globally. Revolution Ridge offers a forest, a stream, a whole habitat, an entire ecosystem for us to study science. And those things apply to the larger world. In our ever-increasing virtual world, the face-to-face -face connections that Revolution Ridge is going to provide for our guests with our animal residents is going to be so important. So the more we can bring individuals in and show them what we do, help them understand the plight of these animals, our commitment and our love for these species, hopefully they can go off 
in their own way make a difference in the world. Ours is a battlefield on the front line of a very different kind of conflict. Its objective is to harm no one, but help and heal those individuals under our care and the species they represent around the world. Imagine that future. It is a battle not fought with muskets, but with microscopes and medicine. Not with cannons, but with care and conservation. In Revolution Ridge, our battle is to instill knowledge that will help bring a brighter and more beautiful future, a world where humans and all forms of life's incredible diversity can flourish and find peace and freedom. We invite you to join with us.